it's good to take this off my chest because after 72 hours, gazillion hours of spending time on my audio trying to fix it, after 13,573 curse words, I have finally managed to fix the audio. And if you're wondering where's my old mic, sure, SM7B, it is in the garbage because that's where it belongs. I'm kidding. I sold one kidney to buy that mic. I obviously sold it. And one of the craziest things I've seen in my life was my two female cats, shakalaka, boom, boom, each other, scissoring, sandwich style, cuckoo, everything. They're both girls. What the fuck? Sister, I don't think you have the facilities to get the job done. I know the guys are not available, but you don't have the facilities. And what are you, what are you wishing for? And just a few days ago, I saw something else that I could not believe my eyes as well. September 11, Mr. Beast Twin Towers. And then I opened YouTube and the first thing I saw was this commentary channels. Mr. Beast situation just got worse. Mr. Beast is in trouble. And I could not believe my eyes. I was in full denial that Mr. Beast went full Allahu Akbar style. But obviously after doing a little bit of research, I found out that it's actually Mr. Beast. And Prime, Amazon getting sued. One of the world's best known online personalities, Mr. Beast, faces a lawsuit this morning. The suit, which seeks to be certified as a class action lawsuit, accuses Mr. Beast production company and Amazon Studios of, quote, chronic mistreatment and harassment of contestants in an upcoming reality show. According to the lawsuit document, five contestants decided to tag team to come against Mr. Beast, claiming 14 counts First one being failure to pay minimum wages. Now, in the last couple of videos I've covered about Mr. Beast, we've discovered that Mr. Beast actually does not give a shit about anyone and anyone. He only pays up people when he is going to make gazillion times more money from them. Here you go, $100,000, slap your boss in front of everyone and quit your job. The guys go, shut up, and then he gets $100,000 and Mr. Beast makes like... $2 million from one video. YouTuber, because I want to make a lot of money. He frames himself as this nice, humble guy who doesn't give a shit about anything, who has a simple car, a simple house, even though he's like a gazillionaire. When I die, all my money is going to go to the poor because I am so selfless that, you know, everyone else will be getting the money. I want none of it. And everyone for the longest time believed that that's actually who he is. Me, myself included, I was like, oh, what a nice, humble guy. Here you go. Shatag my sub, take my sub. But at the same time, I still respect some of the things he does. For example, helping the people build wells, building 100 families, 100 homes. Because even though some YouTubers make this amount of money, and you know, even though the, the rich of the rich, they make this amount of money, they still don't want to spend it on the poor. I mean, it, it's kind of like 50-50 because you're kind of taking advantage of the situation of, you know, profiting from these people. But at the same time, you're also profiting them. There's a tricky situation, I still respect it. But imagine being Mr. Beast's uh, cameraman, just getting so underpaid, under minimum wage, not getting paid for overtime work, and you're recording, and you're going towards a person, and Mr. Beast is like, today I'm going to give a random person who's just walking on the street $500,000. You, come here, shut up. And Mr. Beast's camera just holding the camera like this, like, fuck these guys. Second thing is liquidated damages for failure to pay minimum wages. Failure to pay overtime. Okay, that's actually wild. With the amount of Mr. Jimmy spends on his videos, he's not even paying people who work overtime. Schmeck show harassment, failure to prevent harassment. Now, from the 7,000 allegations that came towards Mr. Beast in the past uh, two to three months, we found out that why Mr. Beast named himself Mr. Beast. Because in relationships that we found out about his ex, the, the video that we covered, we found out that Mr. Beast likes to go full beast mode. And also, if you remember that one video that got resurfaced after a decade of Mr. Beast, after he deleted it, make sure it's off the planet, but someone went off the planet and took it and bring it back to the internet because there is no escaping the internet. The video showed that Mr. Beast is not as sweet as he seemed. He was telling women that there are objects you need to be controlled. You tell them what to do, they need to cook. Well, women are stupid because they're inferior to men. And because they're inferior, they have smaller brains, which obviously makes them stupider. And that's also why you can't respect women, you know. But you, you gotta act like you respect them. You'll never actually respect a woman, but just act like you respect them. And you'll be fine with that. And uh, you also ended up with saying, I just want to have sex with them. And uh, that's pretty normal. I mean, why else were women created? I don't know who broke Jimmy's heart, but this is a heartbreak phase where I hate women. Get them there. They're stupid. A lot of other shit. It just came out to be that Mr. Beast is not as sweet as he seems. He is 
full tank top, white tank top husband mode. So it wouldn't surprise me if there was sexual harassment involved in this. Emotional distress, failure to provide uninterrupted meal breaks, failure to provide uninterrupted rest breaks, failure to pay wages promptly upon termination, failure to provide accurate and itemized wage statements, failure to... I don't know what the fuck that means. For employee expenses and losses and discharging duties, now I know what it means. Unfair business practices, false advertising. There's no way they just called Mr. Beast a clickbait. <laughs> I mean, he is. Declarating the declar the declaratory declaratory relief. Now, this video will never finish if we decide to go through the whole 54 pages. So I'm not gonna finish it. You can do it yourself. I'll link it down below. But basically, what this 54-page document describes is that it is being alleged that uh, it is unreasonable, unsafe, and unlawful em employment conditions that led to several contestants being hospitalized. It was also said that sporadically and sporadically, and not given educate access to hygiene products or medical care. Now, if you ask me why there's no hygienic products, uh, medical care, uh, I don't know, healthy food, I will tell you that Mr. Beast likes to go full cheap mode. Because from the previous allegations, statements, evidence, whatever the fuck it is out there, there's so many, so much of them. It just turns out that Mr. Beast is actually spending so much money on a video, and he is. I'm not saying he's not. But he is making more because end of the day, he needs to make profit. And that is completely understandable. But when you go into these type of things, you need to make sure hygienic products. You need to make sure medical care. You need to make sure food, water, everything, healthy stuff. I'm not talking about junk food. Everything is provided. Because if you also remember from that document that it got released from the Mr. Beast, if you want to join the team, A players, B players, never say no. To, and no is not a no. Yes is a yes. No is not. You know what I'm talking about? He also said that if, if you spend $10,000, anything more than $10,000 from the company's money or production, it needs to be recorded because it can obviously lead into making more money because people love to see people spend money. But for someone who makes one to $3 million from each video, brother, spend money, spend money. The reason I believe he's not spending as much is because his contestants are most of them are his own employees so they have to suck it up and they have to take their minimum wages food fuck your food get to work hygienic product medical care take my armpit and put it whatever you want your hygienic products there oh you you have a cut in your set fuck your cut spit on it and rub it and it will get better the lawsuit which noted the show has production budget of 100 million dollars this is the contract between prime and mr b said that the show obtained an illegal contract and provided false information to Nevada about misclassifying contestants as volunteering to get tax credits. As a result, the show got $2.5 million in, in incentives from the state to film in Las Vegas, the lawsuit claims. Last month, a New York Times report detailed some claims of dangerous conditions from unnamed contestants on the, on the set of the show. Posted by a 26-year-old Donaldson, they told the news paper that some players left the arena on stretchers and witnessed vomiting and people passing out as well as several hospitalized a true mr beast games indeed a spokesperson for mr beast told the times that the shoot was unfortunate and complicated by the crowd strike incident extreme weather and other unexpected logistical and communication issues and that a formal review of the show had started mr beast didn't respond to cnn's request for a comment Amazon declined to comment. Of course they didn't comment. They only tweet and comment when there's a new product launched to make sales. Fuck the allegations. Rosanna also made a comment saying, this is the lawsuit from the five contestants of the Vegas Beast Games shoot filed against Mr. Beast and Amazon. I have talked to roughly 100 other contestants from the Vegas shoot that are looking into doing something similar. Keep in mind, there were also several contestants injured at the Toronto shoot as well as unsafe working conditions and a crew member that was severely injured per Rolling Stone, I will keep you updated. So three weeks ago, it was reported that Mr. Beast is making a sensational YouTube video with a prime reality show in Toronto. And this is the building that, uh, that one of the crew members got injured in. It is being reported that one of these bricks, a six by six, 95% full concrete, fell on the crew member. Now I've been reading a lot of comments and everyone's saying, oh, Mr. Beast needs to get sued. This is such a, Horrible thing! It is a horrible thing, but unfortunately for the people working for Mr. Beast, not only they get hit with an NDA, but they also get hit with a waiver. I used to work in a trampoline park for a couple of years before anyone comes. I need to give them a waiver. 
in case anything, they have to sign it. If if not, they don't sign it, they cannot go in the trampoline park. In case anything happen, bones pop out, you jump up and down, you crack something, you break something. If something happens to you, I don't know you. Who are you? Get out of my uh, trampoline park. This is how the company protects themselves from lawsuits. So unfortunately for the Mesa Beast members, the chances of them being able to sue in this situation is 50-50. It's either Mr. Beast went che so cheap, maybe we thought he's spending so much money on sets, but he's actually not spending as much as we thought. It's either that, or it was just a purely accident. And if it was a purely accident, the chances of, you know, the employee winning the lawsuit is going to be very low. But usually when these things happen, the employee does actually get paid, especially if they can't work anymore in the same industry. They get paid a huge chunk of money. Literally last week, a delivery food driver, a biker, he was delivering some food and you know he had an accident and he just went paralyzed and the company paid them 5 million dirhams which is equi equivalent of 1.5 1.6 million dollars now first of all i want to wish this guy a very speedy recovery and if anything happened to him if mr beast decides to either pay or not if i was him i'd go for the lawsuit fuck it after everything i've heard from mr beast all the allegations alle allegations towards Mr. Beast and all the things that he's done, his friends, whatever the fuck these people are into, I would go for the lawsuit. They will probably go with the settlement fee and um, I'll take that chunk of money. And I will be very happy if something happened to me and I cannot work in the same industry again just because Mr. Beast was cheaping out on the building materials and that's why it's cracked and it wasn't just an accident. <laughs> Mr. Beast will go broke. So long story short, Mr. Beast is getting fingered from left and right. And now it would prime. I don't know. They still haven't made any comment. We have to wait and see how the relationship after is after this whole thing happening. Maybe Prime tries to back off and then Mr. Beast's legal team attack them, give them a Shatak lawsuit. I don't know. There's a lot of shit is happening behind closes right now that we have no information. We have no view of. In the future, maybe it will come out. Maybe it won't. But so far, it was, I don't know, under minimum wage payments, uh, no overtime payments, schmexual uh, harassment, not preventing schmexual harassment in the uh, company. And I have no doubt that happened. I mean, at the same time, what do you expect when you hired registered people? But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned. I'm going to be spoiling you with videos after not being on the internet for two days. I'm sure there's a lot of things to talk about. But yeah, like, subscribe, take care of yourself. I'll see you on the next one.